Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It On. Let's see about turning this quest into Alinar? Yes. Hello. Were you able to acquire what I asked for? I have all the potions you requested. Ah, I see you have them all. Excellent. This is an important step in completing my work. Now, we come to the last detail. I need a sample of anorant bark to experiment on. To find it, travel to the Valley of Singing Trees. It's a significant gathering place for druids in Eastern Ismerald. I've heard that anorants have been flocking to that area recently, and the druids might be able to advise how to best deal with them. What is your ultimate goal, once you're a master of natural arts? The preservation of our natural world has always been my passion. When I first joined Wardenhaft, I was a pure scholar. Methodical work habits and a mathematical approach to spellcraft launched my tenure here, and my thirst for knowledge was all-encompassing. But after my first decade, I began to hear a faint whispering to my castings and incantations. I knew from my studies it was the voice of the Green Mother. I've always known a stronger bond with nature than most people, and I understood that it truly deepened my understanding. I must follow the words of Talindia. My master thesis is a direct result of my communications with the goddess, and if I succeed, I've done a great deed for all Yerengal. Anyone can see the importance of protecting the natural world, especially with war and hatred raging across Yerengal. You have a clear view of things, my friend. I'm sorry to say you're one of only a few. I have the rare bark you would require. Thank you for this. With the bark and potions, and the knowledge I've gathered, I may at last have a clean way to lift the Anorant's curse. The time has finally come for me to travel. Once I've assembled all my components and gear, I'll set off for the Valley of the Singing Trees. Now what of your life outside the Academy? What interests you besides your studies? I'm afraid my personal life, such as it is, has always been of lesser importance to me. Other than speaking with my family and rigorous scientific debates at Wardenhaft, I have very little interaction with others. But this does not trouble me, or at least not yet. I've never really met anyone interesting enough to draw me away from my research. And until that day arrives, I am content to focus all my attention on said research. From what I know of you, I find it surprising you've never met such a person. To understand it can be hard to build meaningful relationships amidst a life of work. You're very kind, Donald, and perceptive. It's rare for me to feel so understood by another. Meeting you is worthwhile for this conversation alone. So farewell. Safe journey, my friend. May Talindia shield you from both rain and strife. I await your at once. So he said he was going to the Valley of Singing Trees. We're gonna head there and see if we can find him. Plus we have that quest to turn into Jabbar for the horses. But first, I need to go talk to Arvex again, because I didn't try to actually conversate with him. At once. Proceed with his quest. I am hoping that after talking to him, we don't have to go back to the Broken Monastery. But we'll see. At once. We'll speak to Arvex, we'll head to the Valley of Singing Trees, turn in the quest of Jabbar, see if we can find Alinar in that area, and then we'll head to Crimson Crossing. At once. At once. 
I'm listening. Well? Well? Huh? I think we might have just found out where that monastery your journal mentioned was. Yes, I believe so as well. Let's make haste there as soon as possible. Trail was false. There was nothing there. Nothing. What did you hope to find? Something that could kill you? I want an end to my torment. I do not care if it is to be crushed or eaten or drowned. I want an end. I wish you could or you would reconsider. I value you as an ally. The hell's with that. I made a pact with Ellen Water, my soul in exchange for the demigod resurrecting my wife and daughter. To fulfill this covenant is the only thing I desire, but the cunning jinn constantly interferes. It is by his hand that I return again and again from the void. His cruelty is truly bottomless. What kind of death do you want to pursue next? I do not know. But there's no reasoning it out. But I must keep searching. Date your will. I'm listening. I off I go. All right, to the Valley of Singing Trees once more. At once. Yeah, I'll make it. I await your instructions. All right, just a short jaunt across the map. So if Alinar does appear in this area, I'm going to assume that he's either with the Druids in the center or to the northeast where we fought those Anorants the first time. At where we once. got the bark initially. Yes. Ah, oh, you return. Tell me you have the groom's signature and the horses are on their way. Oh uh, yes, I have it right here. Ha. Huh. Others may have doubted you, my friend. But I knew you would succeed. Here, for your troubles. Hope you also accept this magical staff. Just a thing for a traveling man. A pleasure doing business with you. Thank you again, my friend. Alan Waters' eye watch over you, and his hand shield you on your journey. I mean, who else was here to doubt me? There's two other people. And I doubt that Usani did, because Off I helped her with that other quest. I mean, I guess Aravina? Well, it sounds like Aravina just lost herself a customer. Alright, let's go save Alinar from these bandits. I hope. Donald, give me free of these blasted bandits. I have no quarrel with you, Highwaymen. Go your way in peace. But don't you dare lay a single twisted, grubby finger on that scholar, or you will pay dearly. Uh, come, my fellows, quickly. I can see this wanderer is more troubled than he's worth. Darn tootin'. Yes. For a moment there, I thought my life was forfeit. I can't believe you arrived just in time, Donald. Thank you, Green Mother, for your protection. You said those miscreants on their way without a drop of blood spilled. Well done, Donald. You're engulfing enough violence already. My experiment has borne fruit, just as I hoped. I have indeed discovered a cure to pacify the tormented souls trapped inside the Innerets. I must hurry back to Wardenhaft to finish drafting my thesis. There? I'm assuming we can go back to Wardenhaft and speak to him again then. So let's do that. Just a hop and a skip this way.
I'm listening. I await Go your ahead. instructions. I'm listening at once. At once. All right. At once. There he is. Yes. Uh, Donna, welcome. I have excellent news. I finally submitted my master thesis to the Academy. I'm only waiting on their reply. Now, I can never ever achieve this without your help. I'm not interested in romancing him. So, farewell. I'm curious wow. what it leads to. Uh, dot dot dot, yeah. I await off I go. I don't think we're going to. I no experience associated with it, so let's head back down. I want to check out the Quartermaster again. And see if he sells any accessories, since we are At short once. on a few accessories now. Hello? I had to take a look at that. So the Enchanted Dune Walker, plus one to focus, plus two percent critical chance, and grant Sandscape Shelter one per day. These quarter staves can often be seen carried by the daring merchants strolling the endless deserts of the east. They provide both support and a form of self-defense on their journeys. The walking stick bears an enchantment to enhance its owner's senses, and a defensive spell that can be used as a last resort if push comes to shove. I await your instruction. Hmm. So it doesn't seem as good as what I currently have equipped. So we'll just sell it. I'm list off I go. Because we've already, I guess, kind of started romancing Biala. And I don't know if I trigger another romance, even with an NPC outside the party, if it'll get in the way of that other romance. So I'm going to play it safe. At once. Also, I'm a little concerned that by not taking that one Soraka dialogue option with the Matriarch at the Garden of Delights, if I lost my opportunity to uh, proceed Soraka's quest. I feel like that's not the case because I mean, that would be really easy to miss. But you never know. At once. Let's right, check the northern edge next, then we'll cross the bridge and see. waiting for us in town. Blood Red Barter. 
Den of Miscreants. I guess it is a place called Crimson Crossing, isn't it? Can I help you? I came here to make business human. Off I go. The Red Damsel. Alright, let's see what's inside here. Steve, you here with us? Snore. Darn it, he fell asleep again. Once. Do a quick save and speak to Bartok. Can I help you? Wherever the Dark Knight, I tell you, he's out there. Greetings. I keep an eye on my pockets if I were you. The scoundrels surely have their eyes on him already. Hello. Hey there, gorgeous. I think you can help a girl out. I've lost the merchandise I intended to sell in Crimson Crossing, and now I'm in a bit of a bind. Now, what kind of merchandise do you sell? I traffic rare powders, drugs, and ointments from the east to sell in Ismerald. Crimson Crossing is a great location to move your wares quickly, except for Governor Salazar. I recently discovered the governor requires you to purchase a permit to trade in the city. For people who don't know about this permit, there's also a penalty for trading without it. Of course, I knew nothing about it until after I'd set up my stall. I suspect this is a deliberate strategy, so Salazar can collect on both the permit and the fine for selling without a license. Now, since I've lost all my merchandise, I can pay for neither. How did you lose your goods? Well, I actually believe they were stolen. I was returning from a walk about the city when I spotted someone exiting my room in a hurry. Before I could stop them, I was grabbed by a pair of Salazar's enforcers. They had been waiting for me. They frog marched me straight to the governor who informed me about the trade permit and the fine for trading without a permit. Luckily, there's no third fee for scuffing the cobblestones on the market, at least not that I know of. It smells to me like Salazar created these rules to sabotage small vendors who end up in his debt. I'll see if I can find your missing merchandise. Hooray! I was beginning to worry there wasn't a kind soul anywhere in the whole of Crimson Crossing. The person I saw outside my room was a brawny, red-headed dwarf. I suspected him to be one of Salazar's men, so I hope you'll find him in town. Still find him in town. If you can get my wares back for me, I have several useful items to share as a reward. That sounds good to me. What? Uh, what news? Did you recover my wares? Still working on it. Then please keep looking. I'd go after the door for myself, but he seems like a shady fellow. Too shady for me to handle on my own. That's fair. Yes. Oh, what can I get you, my friend? We got drinks and tobacco from all over Yerengal. What can you tell me about this place? About the tavern? Heh. <laughs> all you need to know is that the Red Damsel is the greatest melting pot of merriness, in Ismerald, at least. Park Alazim, the realist great trading road crosses the Aspera River here, resulting in our lovely merchant town of the Crimson Crossing. Most of the trade between the Eastern Empires and Ismerald passes through, so we get to keep our share of everything. The crossing attracts all the misfits and opportunists of Yerengal, so beware. You should always be on the lookout, as someone is surely looking out for you as well. Talazar does not tolerate murder in the streets well, and most are smart enough to be afraid of him. But you can never know who lurks in the shadows, so keep that in mind. Alright, I'd like to rent a room. A good, we have plenty of those. Which one would you like? It's the... the cheap one. <laughs> We would like an economic rest. Greetings. Right, let's check out the shady citizen over here. 
Uh, looking for something? You'll surely find it at the Crimson Crossing. Off I go. Alright, let's check out upstairs. And then as we explore the rest of Crimson Crossing, I won't enter any buildings until I've mapped out everything. Hmm? Yes. Alright, generic dialogue. Off I go. It says he's hiding. I await your instructions. This wasn't in the animation for what hiding. Is, yes. A funnel aura. A relatively high level spell, right? Yes. It's level 5. Cleric spill. A beer would be nice. Thank you. All right, all right. I'm ready. Here. All right, don't mind me. Over here trying to make a living. I'm listening. Hmm? All right, all right. out of here let's go do a once around town at once Hello, Olivia. Hi! Oh, wait, did Pepper just get stolen? Uh, poor Pepper. Big bad fox has killed him. Oh, could I not save him? Oh. Uh oh. Let's pay a little bit more attention. I thought that was a cat coming towards the cat. Let's be focused on Olivia's name. Well, shucks. And a magic bow. It's a. And that's just a real war bow, though. Hmm. Uh, what you looking at? I'm looking for the wares of a merchant girl by the name of Talji. Have you seen them by chance? Oh, haha. <laughs> that poor lass from the damsel. It's a cruel world we live in. That is all I have to say. Clear out. Do I look like I'm fooling around? Hand a merchandise over if you prefer to keep your head attached to your neck. Fine. Here you go. Now this is all that's left of it. For what it's worth. I await your- Off I go. Alright, let us go turn this in. Then we can focus on exploring the town in the next episode. Yes? Uh, what news? Did you recover my wares? Yes, I have your things. Yes, that's the best news I've had since I arrived here. I'm afraid I'm still out of coin, but here, take these. A selection of my finest powders. Take care and hand them, will you? Uh, they are quite potent. Yeah, I don't really use powders, so uh, it's alright. You can keep your powders. 
You'll need your inventory if you're going to get back on your feet. Oh, you're very kind, thank you. Whew. After a day like that, I need a good night's rest. Goodbye. I'm listening. At once. I do have the intent to use powders, I just keep forgetting that I have I them. I shall not flag until we prevail. To have them all loaded up on my a spell weaver, but she has better things to do than throw powders in combat. I wonder if we could have bought the horses from this guy. Hmm? No. Well, maybe. This is the same line as the stableman in Isselbright. I go. All right, let me check out inside a couple of houses before we wrap up the episode. So we'll start with Nina here. Which she has laying around. Look for any unsecured possessions. Go ahead and give these to Soraka. Yes. A good day, sir. Johnny isn't home yet. It's a business with the governor, I believe. Well, I'm sure we'll have a run-in with him once we head to the Miscreant's Den. your instructions I'm listening you know what he's not as skilled with large blades yet but it's, it's so much better than this axe I think it's time to go ahead and give him that upgrade I'm listening go ahead I await your instructions. Right, that was pretty lackluster. At least we got some arrows for Hamlin. Hmm? I await your instructions. What is your wish? So as I've said before, we're probably in a position to start using the arrows of the hunt and our fire arrows. I'm listening. We could probably afford to go At buy once. some other special arrows as well. Once. So some more arrows for Hamlin. I await your instructions. At 
once. At once. I await your instructions. Hi, nothing new there. All right, so it's mostly merchants left to explore. And the main building, of course, and the Beast Tamer's home and Diviner's home. Or Diviner. It's Diviner. All right, so I'm gonna call it here. Our next episode, we'll check out these two merchants starting out. And then we'll check out these homes, these merchants, and the mis or den of miscreants. Not miscreants, den. And then we'll head west. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.